Ann White's Gluten-Free Recipes and Mini Garden. Ann White's channel has a premier focus on delicious gluten-free recipes, and that includes like herbs and spices and sauces. And she also makes very beautiful handmade fashion masks and head pieces for her Etsy site. Now, pay close attention to the channel name, Ann White Gluten-Free Recipes and Mini Garden. Because it's often confused with a similar channel name and an almost identical voice. And since you never see the two of them together at the same time, people assume they're the same person with two different channels. They both have gardens. They both vermin compost. They have collaborated together on a few YouTube projects, but they are indeed different. Now, Ann White occasionally highlights her mini garden and every blue moon her worm bin because the forefront is the gigantic collection of gluten-free recipes, and I do believe most of them are vegan. Well, maybe not that one. And if you love island flavors, she will make in your taste buds to euphoria. And if you're not into gluten-free, but you love home remedies that work, and White's gluten-free recipes and mini garden can load you up there too. There are other neat tips and kitchen hacks to make your gluten-free journey a trouble-free gluten-free journey. So check out Ann White's gluten-free recipes and mini garden. And just so you won't think I'm pranking you, White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. Now you see the different platforms more clearly. You know, while they're similarly titled, they're not the same platform. I don't know if worms are gluten-free. <laughs> I know they're not Jamaican or vegan. Got that part. And White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm has live streams just to talk about vermin composting. I mean, I mean, they talk about other things, too, in other live streams like gardening. Well, some of you know that already because I've seen you there. And when I say gardening, I mean gardening, transplanting, raised beds, hey, you name it, she's probably got a video on it. I saw pallet gardening. And it is White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, with that worm farm, I think she was just being polite. It's more like a worm metropolis. They've probably got their own bat signal. No, wait, wait, that, that's not Metropolis, that's Gotham. Catch that. Anyway, there are gardening and worms, and... Oh, hey, why do gardeners plant bulbs? So worms can see their way in the dark. <laughs> so yeah, there are a few other interesting things on this channel, like the how-tos. There's all kinds of how-tos for some of the projects that she's doing. Like, you know, you want to build a worm bin, so you kind of want to know how to work with wood and, and saws and things like that. She's got all that on this channel. And who wouldn't like a DIY rat trap? So, if you're looking for even balance of gardening and vermicomposting, look no further because you found White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. Jim Timber 2! We now know just because two names sound similar doesn't mean it's the same person on both, right? <laughs> or maybe not. Jim Timber is a channel that is considered lifestyle and topics are varied and sometimes a little mm, thought-provoking. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that one. But Jim Timber 2 delivers a love of military memorabilia and collectibles. And sometimes it's uniforms or weapons or medals and insignia. Whatever the feature in the video, it's a link to a story, not like a, a hyperlink or something like that. Like a link, like a connection, you know, an ideal maybe. And the military collectibles from all countries are diminishing in number. And that makes the pieces that Jim Timber 2 and the channels that are like his, that makes those pieces extremely rare and valuable. Jim Timber 2 showcases lots of neat identified pieces. 
which are basically artifacts with verifiable histories. So when you hear memorabilia collectibles being referred to as identified, that's what they mean. It also means cha-ching! Although I'm not really sure that's what he collects some of them for because some of them were from his grandfather. So, drive on over to Jim Timber 2, check out his collections, visualize the experience, the sacrifice, the heroic efforts, even of the person who owned it before it was a collectible. And check out Jim Timber 2. Gluten-free recipes with Jamaican flair vermi composting and gardening collectibles from militaria are these your people